guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and today I'm going to be showing you how to make electricity from a lemon. The components required are 4 zinc strips, 4 copper strips, some wire and 4 lemons and a scissors which you may or may not require on the basis. Now, we, the components required to test the voltage are an LED, a motor with or without a fan, the propeller and a buzzer. You can use a multimeter to check the voltage since I don't have a multimeter. To okay, to start off with, we will take our zinc strip and one of our copper strip and join both of them with the wire. This is a series formation with four elements, so we will have enough electricity to make an LED glow. Now we will be doing the same for the next two pairs. And after doing it, with the last pair, we will connect one wire and leave the other end free with both the strips. Now, we have our three strips and two of them which are we open with a wire on the ends ready. Now we are going to take one of them and push the zinc uh, strip into the lemon in this manner. Now we will take the other end and push it into another lemon. It doesn't matter if it's a copper or a zinc strip, but it needs to be in series formation. But of course, one end needs to be the copper strip, that is the anode, and the zinc strip, that is the cathode. And the lemon which is the electrolyte. We will be doing the same with another two lemons. We are going to connect it in series in this manner. It doesn't matter how many lemons you have, the more the lemons, the more the voltage. Okay, so as you can see, we have connected three wires in series. Now the fourth copper and the zinc strip, we are going to connect it, but leaving the ends free. We, cannot, we shouldn't connect the copper strip of the ending wire and the ending wire of the zinc strip together, otherwise it is just a waste of the voltage. It is going to get short circuit. We are going to connect them in this manner. So as you can see, we have connected one of the zinc strips. Next the copper one and now we will be connecting the copper one next to this one. Okay so as you can see our circuit is complete. You can check the voltage which is coming out from all of them with the multimeter at the two ends. That is the anode and the cathode, positive and negative terminals. Now we will connect a buzzer and see whether it has enough electricity to make it work. Wow! And as you can see, the buzzer is buzzing. I had connected a fan with the propeller, but unfortunately it didn't work. So now we are connecting the LED. And as you can see, it's glowing. Wait a minute. I'll just decrease the exposure and zoom it. And you can see it here. So as you can see, the LED is glowing. 
since I have plucked this out from a serial lighting set, it has one resistance inside, so it's ideal for 8 to 9 volts. But still, it's glowing with probably 1 volt. My camera is focusing. This is the buzzer. This is buzzing again. My camera makes a lot of sound. I'll do it in the next. 